I have nothing to offer you by way of hospitality, said Haktar faintly, but tricks of the light. It is possible to be comfortable with tricks of the light, though, if that is all you have. Research increasingly suggests that our brains are constantly distorting what we see. Using imagination, our brains take a bold shortcut. We guess what's out there from past experience, rather than having to build up the image in our minds each time from scratch. Every moment we open our eyes, our brains are filling in a vast amount of additional information. The brain doesn't just allow us to see what's out there, it actually invents much of it. And over the last few decades, neuroscientists have slowly begun to understand how we can create this highly personal inner world. If you look around, the, the world seems to be high resolution, almost photographically sharp and complete. But in fact, you're actually taking in remarkably little. A lot of what you see or you think you're seeing, you're actually filling in from memory. You're actually completing from information that's been stored from previous times through his experiences with the world. Anatomical studies have revealed that the visual brain relies as much on information coming from our memories as from our eyes. We are using our knowledge of everything we've ever seen in the past to imagine what is actually out there. One of the most remarkable facts about the brain is that of the 32 known visual areas, virtually all of them that send a connection to another area receive a connection backwards from that area. And those backwards connections are of comparable size to the forward one. So there's, there's enormous amount of information flowing backwards. The discovery of these pathways has completely revolutionized our understanding of the visual brain. We can no longer think of vision as a one-way street, with information flooding in from the outside world. Instead, it seems to be a two-way street, with massive amounts of stored information flowing backwards from deep inside the brain. So our perception of the world is affected as much by what our brains expect to see as what is actually in front of us. This room looks normal but in fact, it's massively distorted. The girls are exactly the same size, and yet your brain won't allow you to see them that way. You can't tell that the left side of the room is much bigger than the right side, or that the floor slopes down to the left corner, and that the furniture has been specially designed to fool your brain. All this creates the illusion that the girl is changing size as she walks across the room. Your brain simply will not let you see the room as it actually is. Instead, it uses its store of memories to take a shortcut, creating an image of this room based on how you expect all rooms to look. It's an astonishing example of how much our visual memories, our imaginations, can influence what is right in front of our eyes.